Hey guys, it's me. Welcome to the deep blue sea. Or well, at least in my ship. Ah, uh, yes, hello people. It is Halloween, you say. Or well, close to it. Ooh, no, my pumpkin friend. No. Oh. I had a pumpkin friend standing in front of me, but okay. But we are here, and this video, if you haven't read the title, is going to be about... First of all... This is pissing me off. Okay, wait. Yeah, I don't care. But yeah, this video is going to be about three different things I have built for Halloween. Or at least three different things to give you guys some ideas three things. One is going to be a build idea. Another is going to be a design for something to be able to be used in a build. And another one is just something to decorate your house or your build. To decorate something you already built. So let's get started. So first, let me just um, Also, yes, I am in the newest snapshot, so some of the graphics are a little glitchy. So yeah, today we are going to be heading over, which also, I'm a diver. Do you like my skin? You know, I got the thing in the back, so then I got some kelp on me. That's kind of cool. So yeah, so the first design we are going to be going over is the design for something to liven up your builds. Let's say you have, you know, your very own, you know, like, wheat farm or something, you know, you, can, you did this and stuff, and you have a farm build. So what you could do is, with a loom, you could do a cool banner design. And make a scarecrow. And if you already have a scarecrow, just put the banner on top of his face, and then bam, you have a cool little facey face, dude. Now, to me, I don't know what this may look like to you, but to me, it looks like a bug. See, look, you got the eye; these two eyes right there. You have some of the uh, inten you have the antennas and the little pins, and the and then this upside down heart is the little pincers, and those are just some arms. See, like, look. That looks like a bug, a face of a bug to me. You know, I think it's pretty cool. So, yeah. And I did the uh, pattern where it's like the triangle at the top, the little triangles at the bottom, the uh, and then something with the X's. And then, yeah, that's how I got it. So, yeah. We have our cool little farm here. And that's our first design. This video is going to be pretty small, but that's okay. Because it gives you guys, because at least it will inspire you guys to one thing. Get some cool Halloween skins, you know, you, know, you gotta get some Halloween skins, you know? Also, I'm gonna be writing this for the rest of October, by the way. And yes, the old Santa skin, I'm gonna try and bring back. That old skin with the Santa Claus hat, I'm gonna bring that back for, think, for, uh, Christmas time. So, yeah, just know that. Okay, so now, that was our first design, which is scarecrows for, uh, your fields and your farms. Which would be pretty cool to do. Next up, we're gonna have to break in. So, I'm just gonna, uh. You know, actually, you know what? I'm gonna maybe have to change skins. Maybe. But I'm not going to. Because a diver's okay. I, it doesn't matter. But, you know, it would be cool if I could. If I did. But I'm not going to. Alright, so first, I'm gonna turn around, and you guys are not gonna be allowed to see much. All right, there we go. And now we are here. Ooh, what's this place? Oh, never mind the bats. The bats aren't supposed to be here. They just are. Actually, this makes it look better. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I totally added the bats here. But here's an idea: make a creepy lab. See, what I've done is I've taken stone bricks, which this could be better, and I've taken uh with the blast furnace and cracked bricks and I made a cool little texture in the ground to make it look like it's a scientist lab in, the, in it in, in somewhere so I put some met some torches randomly and then some cobwebs to show that's old and I use redstone for blood please don't demonetize me YouTube it's supposed to be fake okay it's only it's fake blood it's like it's made out of a yeah, actually wait, wait, what is this stuff right now oh I see what it is it's ketchup See guys, it's ketchup. It's not blood, it's just ketchup. And also some netherwort residue. Yeah. It's not blood, it's just but netherwort residue, okay? That should be a new thing actually. So now 
in this area, this part right here, this is a robot, which I would believe that we will, I will get into this about the story about this lab, which will involve that thing right there. But, yeah, this is like a robot charging up, you know, he's charging, you know, he's got little wheels, he got a little, little facey face, oh my god, he's so cute, he's got a little facey face, oh my gosh. This is why I love observer blocks, because they have the little facey faces. I, like, Mojang, Mojang. Are you doing this on purpose? Are you making cute little? Are you making redstone cute? Because if you are, nah, I'm okay with that. But yeah. And which is at the end of the video, we will talk about the new honey stuff, which I'll just briefly mention over. So now, here's my here's the story of this place. There was once a scientist, which also incorporate. And this is also another design tip: incorporate story into your builds. Incorporate something to make it more lively. Like, maybe, um, have, like, maybe you're making a timber yard, for example. Hold on a sec. Let me just, uh, break out of here. Okay. So, for example, maybe you're making a timber log. So, let's say, you know, I, I got my logs out and stuff of, um, we have a, yeah. So, let's say I have a, this, bam. And then, bam. Let's say I have that. Okay, let's say that. And then, what I put here is... Okay, here's my idea. I can place down, then, a stone cutter. Oh, dang it, it's facing the wrong way. Poopy. I'm gonna have to fix this whole thing, dang it. But, yeah, let's just say we have it like this, you know, whatever. And then we put these like that. Okay, so we have a stone cutter. Are you kidding me? What? So it intervals in between the blocks? Huh? Okay. But yeah, let's say I have a stone cutter area. Let's say I have like a wood cutter. So I'm gonna put up my stuff. I'm gonna pretend like this is like the wood cutter stuff. And then, boomski. Let's say that. And then I have my log, so I'm gonna place the log down. I'm gonna boop, boop, boop. Shoot. Yeah. And looks and let's say it's going through the stone cutter. But then what's it gonna come out at the end? What's it gonna be coming out at the end? Well, first let me find a good block here. Um ooh, I forgot what block to use. Damn. Okay, I know, I know, I know. So we say goodbye to all this. Alright, so here's the thing. You can do that. And then you can do something like this. You take the wood and you go like that. And then we we do this. So now look at that. Now if you look at that, this makes it look like this place has more livelihood. That like it's actually being worked at and stuff. So it actually looks better. Like, it actually looks like something's happening here. So, you know, the wood is going pushed in, and then it comes out like that. See, look, look, that's the wood. So, if you incorporate stuff like this to make it look like something's actually happening, incorporating stuff like this, like something, this, as this is my best example. So, you like, let's say you put the log in, through, and then it comes out as timber on the other side. That If you incorporate stuff that, that makes it seem like it's more lively than it actually is, so, like, maybe, so, like, this example, you're, it's actually working, like, this place has, has, is more, a little bit more lively now, because it shows that there's been progress and work being done here, so the logs are going through, and then they'll be coming out on this end, and then they're being put into piles as lumber, which then makes it look like there's actually some progression, some more, a little more life in your builds, which this, and that's kind of like incorporating a story. Which now back to this, this is what I mean. You incorporate stories into this. So there was once a scientist that was making some machine to figure out what the heck the Wither Rose was and why it exists. Trying to figure out some secrets using figuring out what 
what this thing, this magical artifact, which this is actually not a real mess, no, it actually is a real mess, but in theoretical terms, it's a picture of it, and the same thing with the, with the skeleton skull, in which they're try, which the scientists try to figure out what's so weird about the nether, which, by the way, nether update, wink, wink, <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, he's working on this, you know, he's has some redstone and stuff, he has a robot system that's that broken and now he's being charged up and stuff so he made this machine which turns out ooh, didn't go too well which is a little bit of a grinder slash pulverizer thing of boobiers which he stored a pigment in here he used pigment and uh and the or like whatever the new thing is called the other the 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 the, 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 the pig the pinglings or something or like whatever the new pig monster is that it's in the nether. They, it, he had one in here, which then it didn't like, and it broke out. It attacked him. Just as he was in the middle of research, and he's about to make the connection that wither skulls are the answer to the nether star. Which then, you know, he gets spat out, you know, he comes out, he, you know, breaks stuff, so this broken glass, and then what he does, he takes the scientist, and knocks him a couple times and dropping some blood and then he puts him in his own machine which then kills him which is why there's so there's ketchup here because of course he had ketchup with him he was in the middle of eating lunch that was his last sub he ever had but yeah this is like if you incorporate some story into your builds it seems much better and that's why there's cobwebs and I guess bats now. I didn't mean to have bats in here, but yeah. Basically, just incorporate some new designs and stuff. Incorporate some designs that, that allow it so we, the builds look a little bit better and don't have the same boring texture over and over again. Where it's like, let's say I just did stone brick. That, that would be pretty boring and annoying. So, yeah. Th this makes it better looking. Add some story and add some more livelihood to your builds. So, that's my uh, build theme concept for Halloween. Also, um, by the way, um, if you're wondering what this is, this is supposed to be a vent. I, th I think I did okay. But yeah. So now that's the lab. That's, that's the lab. Now finally, we're gonna get into my last thing, which, you know, this video is pretty short. Evil ship. Yeah. So now, here's the last thing, which is another, which is one more build design to add something if you want to make a build about Halloween. So, here's the three things we ran over, over, which is something to add to your already previous builds, some theme or themes or story elements you can put in into your builds in for a Halloween theme. And now our last one is a design for a spooky tree. For a spooky tree. So, here's the thing I did. I started off with a base that's pretty thick, but then I randomly put down some of these. And then I went up, and then I just made a bunch of branches with uh, with some fences and using slabs. You can do a pretty good job at making some creepy branches. Now this obviously isn't the best, but and it's not my best, obviously. Well, actually, it sort of is, but don't tell anyone. But like, you just, you can use the uh, fences as, um, the ends of the branches and stuff to make it look like they're sticking out and stuff. And, you know, it just looks pretty good. It, I feel like this would look pretty good in a build. So you use, uh, I use dark oak. You could probably use this with, with acacia too. With also acacia. If you want to have a, like, something like more, uh, grayish. A little bit more grayish and stuff. If you want a more gray tree. I don't know about spruce and how would that would work, but I, I think dark oak works best with this. And this could be easily used in some kind of mansion and stuff. So yeah, um so yeah, um that those are um my three designs. Those are my three different Halloween designs. Where we use where we make one that it can, that can help improve builds for the Halloween spirit. We have one that could be a theme and also teaches you guys how to use different blocks and uh, make your make your builds look livelier, more, more lively. Like, make them look like they have some story and stuff, make them look like they, you know, 
there's stuff actually going on at the moment. Like, it's okay to not have builds like that. So, like, it's okay to make just another house, but, like, sometimes you could do stuff like that. It makes it even cooler. And then the last one was a new build design for you guys to mess around with, with your own Halloween builds. Which was a, uh, treat. Which, I think I did pretty cool okay on it. But now, for now, now that we're at the end of this video, we have to go over something. Minecon! Yes, I, I finally gonna do this. Yeah, um, Minecon! Amazing. Just amazing. Also, why is it that most of the biomes that are game picked now, or most of the things that are picked, are always the ones that make no sense? And are the, like, like, just look at this. First, we had the Taiga biome, which, um, yeah, the, I guess that was better a bit. It's not much. But, you know, that wasn't really that good to me. Like, I feel like, yeah, like, the berries are pretty cool. Campfires, like, are definitely cool. And foxes. The foxes are so cute. That's really the only things they did with the, with the, those, with that biome, which I feel like, <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot to turn off the, the uh, oxygen tank there. Okay. So I believe that, that that was pretty bad. Like, I didn't like how they did the, the taiga. I feel like they could have done a little bit more. Like, maybe added some more things. Like, just a little bit more. But then, I was thinking, hmm. They did say, in the first one, that they would update the other biomes in a future update. And when was that? Oh yeah, they said it maybe in one of the next updates. Um, yeah, this is the next update, and they're not updating the the desert or the or the savanna, which makes me very annoyed. And let's just look at what biome won this year at Minecon. Hmm, I wonder what type of biome will be. It's the same sticking biome as the tag up, but it's stupider and it doesn't have as many trees. The mountains. Why, people? Why? Why do people pick these biomes? That's my question. I hate it when when people do this. It's it's a it's a dumb, it's dumb. Why did the why didn't the swamp win, or the badlands? Like the badlands at least had something cool about it. And same with the uh with the swamp. The badlands didn't really have like a new mob except for vultures or whatever it was. The 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 swamp had. Oh, I don't know, a new feature for boats, which really need updating, because, like, the last time they got updated is when they got new wood types. And also, we would have got been able to move storage in boats. Hmm, that would have been pretty cool. Like, that would have been pretty cool. And then frogs! Frogs, people! Frogs! Frogs. I like frogs. Alright. I feel like they could have done more. And the thing is... The only thing I, the only reason I think they, the mountain ones is because new snow and speculation on a new block that was seen in the trailer because it's either gravel or something else. And it's like, the, it, really? You guys have to pick the worst biomes? Like, like, it, it's your opinion. It's my opinion. This is my opinion, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Why the mountains? Why? 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 I, I, I just didn't I just didn't see the appeal for it. I believe the biome that should have won should have been either the Badlands or the Swamps. Just not the Mountains. We've had two cold biomes in a row. Now, every time they do a vote for a new biome to get updated, it's been the cold biome so far. Taiga and now Mountains. Yo, people, listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Here's the thing. Stop picking cold biomes. Think about it. Cold biomes are the only thing that needs updated. Um, let me think. Hmm. Hmm, let me think. What biome is really lacking in features? Hmm. Oh, I know. Let's just think about this. Let's just think about all the biomes that need features. Hmm. Jungles. Badlands. Swamps. Like, most of those. And deserts. Specifically, deserts. Deserts in Savannah. The Savannah doesn't need... Okay, here's the thing. Do you guys really want to be in desert? Like, the only good reason for a desert is just for the sand and, you know, 
cactuses. That that those are the only things that are actually good in there, other than maybe the chance of finding a village. Those are the only good things about a desert. That severely needs updated. And let's also think about this. The savanna. That really doesn't actually need an update that badly. It it could get an update, but it's like, yeah. Like, I I would have still gone for the savanna because new tree types. But still, like, like think about it. Let's just, just just think about it. Just think about it. Just think about this. Think about this. They turned down a new tree type that us builders were really looking forward to in two different biomes, and they picked the one that didn't have a new tree type. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why not choose the best thing me that we could do more building? Think about it. New tree types equals more blocks, which more blocks equals new ideas, which means more variety. Ooh, think about that. And more building ideas, which think about it. That means we've gotten a new style of slabs. Like, and we would gotten a new style of trapdoors. See, look at that. Look at this. These, these are these are the spruce trapdoors. And then we have oak, jungle, acacia, and dark oak, and then birch. Do you see a pattern in them? No. The only pattern I see are in between the stinking like the t <laughs> these two. These two are the only ones I see better, and that makes sense, because there's some more trees types. So it's like, we kind of got a new style of slabs that we could have used. That would have been pretty cool. Well, I mean, turtles are whatever they're called. And, you know, that would have been cool to get a new tree type and ostriches. Ostriches. I'm just saying, the mountains don't need an update. They already have stuff in them. Oh, wait! They're not even called mountains! They're called extreme hills, basically. They're extreme hills. I rest my case. Extreme hills, emeralds. They're the only biome you can find. They're one of the only biomes you can find emeralds in naturally. Yeah, think about that. Think about that pretty hard. Yeah. They didn't need it up because they already had stuff there. Now let's just look at the swamp and the Badlands. Hmm. The only thing that are worth getting there are plants and sand. Red sand specifically. That's the only thing good for the Badlands. Other than free terracotta. And then for the swamps, it was literally was just it's like, they, were, they could have done more with the swamps. They could have changed swamps to have a new tree type added in. Like, like that would be pretty cool. Like, you know, that would be pretty cool. Like, I love new tree types. I always want them. New tree types are good for this game. It means more building possibilities. Yeah. That's about the biome boat. Biome boat, I hate it because most people just pick the worst biome. And some people actually, I think it's mostly just the casuals. The casuals, non-builders, really sometimes don't think about their choices and actions. Because I believe, you know, they could have done better. They could have done better. So here's the thing. So now about honey. The honey block. Just about the two new blocks that were introduced into Minecraft 1.14 that wasn't in my original video. Let me just um, show you this. Look at this in my hand. It's transparent. Most blocks aren't transparent. Only glasses. So we can use this to our advantage. To have an interesting block that's a little transparent. Of course, you know, you can't really use it because of uh, the giant random thing boober here which it's kind of interesting how it doesn't ha have like this actually doesn't have a similar texture to slimes which is pretty cool and it has a different sound like I believe this block is going to be pretty useful for redstone people especially the whole thing where you like if you uh if you do this like the whole thing especially since you can't really hop off it if you're uh you can't really hop off of it and also you can slide down it. 
there's going to be some redstone person that's going to do something with this. And also the whole thing that you stick in onto the, uh, the, uh, the block, even with, uh, with it being pushed by pistons. So let me just show you some guys. This is, this is a, this, I'm going to show you something mind-blowing, okay, guys? I'm going to show you something very mind-blowing that's very interesting and will very much please a lot of redstoners, if I have to say anything. Okay, it's not working. Okay. Hold on a sec. Look, the player stays on the thing while it's being pushed by the pistons, which, guess what? Slime box don't do that. So, um, hey, we read some people. Get your fly machines here. At Austin's honey functions. <laughs> so yeah, honey is basically very similar to slime box, except guess what? You can actually stick to them. Meaning that you can easily make some cool contraptions with slime and honey blocks. And also, let's just think about this here. Um hmm. Let me think about this. Let me just show you something. Let me just show you something. You do you guys know about peaceful mode? You know the mode that I'm using right now that doesn't allow it to have a bunch of slimes peer? Yeah, that mode. The only let me just tell you something. The only way to get slimes is slime balls is from slimes. Which means any person that wants to do redstone can't do it because they can't actually, you know, do it in peaceful mode. They have to do it in normal mode. So, this honey block situation actually allows them to get something similar to slime box and have some advantage to it, which means they can also use the features that the slime box has that the slime that, that the uh, yeah, 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 I'm getting my words confused, but okay. But you understand what I mean. That's pretty good. This is pretty good, okay? That's pretty good. And also, um, the reason why I'm, um, okay. Alright. Love the nether update. Love the idea. Love the idea with the, the pig and the beans, the blah, 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 and the, uh, the whole nether forest and soul sand valley thing. That's pretty cool. Of course, you know, they did reveal something that's pretty interesting. If you happen to look in the trailer, guess what? They basically revealed a new block for the nether that look that's similar to soul sand. That looks similar, but isn't soul sand, at least. Something pretty cool, I feel like. It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, um that's cool. But now <coughs> sorry. <laughs> I've been having a little bit of a cold lately. But yeah, um here's the thing. You know the reason why I haven't made a uh, this video in a while? It's because I am, you know, having to do some schoolwork and stuff, but basically, here's the main gist of it. The reason why I haven't been making Minecraft videos in a while. The reason is, is because I'm waiting for the 1.15 update. Which, for Bedrock, is 1.16, but still, it kind of annoys me that they have 1.16 but we have 1.15 which really annoys me when people say 1.16 but don't say 1.15 even though they're playing Java Edition if they're playing Java Edition and then they say 1.16 that makes no sense that really makes no sense if they're playing Java cause Java is 1.15 but yeah, I think this is a pretty cool update. So now, about the, my my survival world. Survival Minecraft. Yeah, um, I explained this in one of my other videos about the video where I am drawing some of our friends from that world. That world, we're not really going to be going on anymore. We're going to make a new world when Mumbai 15 comes out. Because of the nether update. The nether update is going to add so many different things, which... Which is going to have to make me go super far out to get honey and stuff. To be able to get honeybees and stuff. It's also going to be, it's also going to make me 
have to reset my nether, which, which most of my nether has been explored, because you guys know I made a giant nether, um, you know, bridge that goes over a thousand blocks, so, uh, uh, sorry, one moment, but yeah, um, you guys know that, so my nether is going to be pretty dull once it updates, and it's going to be all glitchy and stuff, so what I'm thinking of doing is that we're going to do a couple more episodes on that world, not really adding stuff and stuff, we're just going to be like, you know, messing around, you know, drawing new characters and stuff. And just, we're just not really gonna do much. We're only gonna finish the ship. That's our main priority. Which then, once it's finished, it'll be waiting. We'll be gathering up supplies to be ready to journey off to the lands of 1.15. See ya. See ya, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait, wait. Before we go, I completely forgot about this. I forgot about a block because it's very forgetful. I forgot this block exists. Yeah, I hate it. The texture's okay. It's just dumb. It's very forgetful. It's like, why does this exist? It didn't have to exist. But it does. So, yeah. And also, I kind of hate it that, you know, it kind of makes, like, the slime sound. It just, ugh, it just, it's just, it doesn't feel right to me, you know? It just, that sound didn't feel right to me, but yeah. But now we're finished, and now we went over that very forgetful block, because it's very stupid. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and all that stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!